Hi YouTube, this is Matt McIntosh and this video I'm going to show you a method of how you can produce uh, fingers or a hand or something like that where you've got additional uh, geometry uh, connecting up together. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a uh, cylinder for the shape of the hand. Um, I'm also creating one of the fingers. So what I'm going to do with this is scale it down. What you might find is the transpose uh, tool is a bit awkward to use. So I tend to use the uh, size uh, slider bar under the deformation tab. And what you can do is control that a lot better. And then I'm gonna use the move tool to actually scale this thing in one direction. Okay, now that I've got what could be a finger, um, I'm going to duplicate it to produce another pair of fingers uh, for this hand shape element. Okay, so I've got three distinct sub tools here. I'm just going to tilt one of them so it's a little bit better. Um, actually, I will do the same sort of thing with the other fingers. I just want to rotate this one as well. And what I'm going to do is actually connect these things together as one piece. So to do that, I'm just going to go to the basic hand tool and I'm going to merge them all down using this little button. And that has connected them all together. Now, I can start to merge these things together, but because I've only got like 1,900 triangles, I can't really do much with it. So I need to divide it. and I'm, with 126, I can do some stuff with that. So with the clear tool activated, if I turn the intensity down and start brushing over that um, split, what you'll see is that it merges the two together because they've become one subtool. However, if when you've kind of blended it like this, you use the shift key, which is what I'm doing there, um, it does actually split the geometry apart. So try not to do that and avoid uh, blending it. If you turn Dynamesh on what you'll get is a message like this and the reason for that is because I go to the geometry tab what you'll see is that I've got the lower subdivisions active so I need to delete those and now if I click on Dynamesh just turn the resolution up slightly if I click on Dynamesh now we should see that it has blended those surfaces together and I can smooth them out without any issues whatsoever. So you could use that to attach limbs to the rest of the body. Okay, so that's a really quick intro on how you could do a hand. Hope that's useful. If you're liking what you're seeing, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.